Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to explain how the structure of arteries, veins and capillaries relate to their function. In the last video we saw that humans have a double circulatory system. Blood's pumped from the heart to the lungs where it collects oxygen. The blood then returns to the heart and is then pumped around the whole body where it delivers the oxygen to the body cells. In this video we're looking at the blood vessels involved in this process and we're going to start with arteries. Arteries carry very high pressure blood from the heart to the organs in the body. I'm showing the structure of arteries here. Now the first adaptation is that arteries have got very thick muscular walls. This allows them to withstand the very high pressure of the blood. Now blood travels through the arteries and surges every time the heart beats. That surge can be felt in the wrist as your pulse. To cope with that, arteries contain elastic fibres. These stretch when the surge of blood passes through, and then they recoil in between the surges, which keeps the blood moving. So blood travels to the organs and arteries, but once it's in the organs, the blood flows through capillaries, and we're going to look at those now. I'm showing you a picture of capillaries here. When the blood passes through capillaries, substances such as glucose and oxygen diffuse from the blood to the cells like this and carbon dioxide diffuses from the cells back to the blood. Now capillaries have very thin walls, so the diffusion pathway is very short. This allows substances to diffuse rapidly between the blood and the body cells. Once the blood has passed through the organs, it now makes its way back to the heart in veins. Now there's a problem here, which is that the blood is now travelling slowly and at low pressure. That means that it could stop or even go backwards. I'm showing you the structure of veins here. Firstly, veins have a thin wall. That's because the blood pressure is low, so the wall does not need to be thick. Secondly, many veins contain valves, and we can see these here. Now, the job of valves is to stop blood flowing backwards. When the blood's flowing in the correct direction, then the valves open to allow the blood to flow through, like this. However, when the blood starts to flow backwards, then the valves shut, and we can see that here. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on arteries, veins, and capillaries in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to explain how the structure of arteries, veins, and capillaries relate to their function.